Okay, this is an attempt here to show just a reflashing of a we got a 98 Windstar here, and we got the pass through Pro. We got her plugged into the DLC down there, and then we got it on the uh, got it hooked up here to the uh, to the little uh, tablet PC, which has a Wi-Fi connection. You can also hook it up through a line connection if you want. Okay, the first thing you do when you when you get your pass through Pro is you want to load your disk. And after you load your disk, you're, you'll get this screen here, which is welcome to the J2534 toolbox. Up in the corner here, it'll ask you which pass-through device you have, either the CARDAC or the pass-through. So we got the pass-through. Then you click on the flashing, and here you have all your, all your uh, manufacturers. So this is a Ford, so we went to Ford. Then you want to click on the Ford website. There's some other options there too about information and such. Once you're on the Ford website, you have your menu over here on the left hand side. If you haven't already signed up, you sign up over here. Or first of all, you you build yourself an account and buy a subscription. You do that over here and then the subscription will ask you which one you want. And you want the programming initialization. But we've already done all that, so this year the Ford website is pretty self-explanatory, so we can exit that, and we'll exit this. And after you've done all that, you've gone through the Ford website, what it'll do is it'll load up the FMP program, and you'll have an icon like this one right here on your, on your screen. So then we click on that, double click on it, and then we see the Ford module programming, the FMP will, will load up, and this will just take a few seconds here. Still got the key off on the, on the vehicle, so it takes a minute or two for it to load, to connect through the internet, or actually I think it's just loading on the computer at this point. So, and this ain't much of a, this is just a little Palm Pilot, it really ain't much. Okay, there we're going to the screen, still says initialization. Okay, then you get to your, welcome to the module programming. You read through the directions on here and just click on the continue. And here we already had this vehicle entered so it says here 98 Windstar 3.0. It's got the VIN number crossed out here. And we'll just hit continue. Well, it says an open session was found resumed. So we were already on here so we're just going to resume this. And see what happens. Okay, then it'll ask you to confirm the internet connection, which we're doing right here. It just says please wait. Okay, then we got the uh, vehicle ID here, which is correct. I already entered the odometer. So we'll go up here to the toolbox, and then the icon module programming will come up. So we click on that. And then go down to the corner here, click on the check mark. And then you get three options here, programmable module installation, module reprogramming, or programmable param parameters. Well, we're looking for a flash update here, so we're going to module reprogramming. And the only option on this vehicle is the PCM. So we click that, and back down here and click the check, check mark. And here we're notifies us that there is an update available for this vehicle. So you don't even have to go to the Ford website really to see if there's an update. This kind of does it automatically for you. So then it asks us, do you want to program the PCM with it? And yes, we do. Establish an internet connection and then select confirm. So we'll hit the confirm tab. And now it'll just say, please wait. And then a notice comes up, you're about to perform a procedure to reprogram it, yada, yada, yada. It's just a bunch of legal crap. And we'll press the check mark here. Ensure vehicle battery is in good condition and all accessories are turned off. Yes, we've done that. And we've hooked up a steady state battery charger, the whatever 500 to snap on steady battery charger. And I set it, I think, at 13 and a half volts. It is recommended that you carry out self-test to, identif to identify any DTC that may be present. Run the self-test. Yes, we'll run the self-test. 
The vehicle must be prepared. Do not activate vehicle switches during test. Vehicle moving, engine fan, all its other instruction. Okay. I click the this tab there. PCM key on, engine off. I'll turn the key on here. Set the ignition switch to on. Okay, we just did that. We'll click the check again. Performing test, please wait. So I don't know how long this is going to take. It's not as fast as your regular scanner. And it will activate some of the outputs. The blower motor, maybe the wipers. and well, Actually, just the ECM outputs it will exercise. So the fuel pump may run. This is the reason you may want your battery charger hooked up. Or why you do want a battery charger. And this is Pass PCM, so there's no codes. So then we'll hit exit, and then we'll hit the check mark down here. Okay, some more instructions here. We'll just hit the check mark again. Set the ignition switch to the off position. And we'll do that. And we're off, and we'll hit the check mark. Please read carefully. Information do not start a programming session with a low battery. Fuel pump and engine cooling fan may run during the procedure. If you are running, if you are programming a 6.0 diesel, the FICM relay must be removed before programming. Okay, and we'll hit the check mark here. Okay, set the ignition switch to back on. Okay, we're back on. PCM programming, please wait. And right now it's just doing the programming. So it'll do this, and then once we're done this, it'll come to a screen, and it'll basically just have you cycle the key a bunch of times and confirm your, that the program was successfully loaded. So that's about it. It's not a real difficult thing. The first time you go through it, it is because you do have to load the, the FMP program and some other programs, and then there might be an update or two. When you turn this on, it's a good idea just to start the FMP program every day, just so you get an idea, just so that every day it'll it'll update when you turn it on, and then you don't have to sit around and wait when you do have a car to flash. You know, you're sitting there waiting for an extra 10 or 15 minutes while the FMP updates. So I guess that's about it. We can see the bar moving across here. It probably take five, 10, maybe 15 minutes here to reflash this car. And that's about all you got to do. When you get to the end, it just there's some more instructions to cycle the key on and off, and that's about it.